here today at Sunny Slope Senior Center with Yvette Giesman, who's going to be talking about a sustainable project that goes back to the community. Hi, Yvette. Hi. Can you explain to us what we're doing here today and your project? Yes, um, I'll give you a little bit of history of how this started. Uh, about three and a half, four years ago, a friend of mine at lunch at work told me about a group of people in um, uh, Lutheran Ministries who are taking plastic and turning it into mats and giving it to the homeless. Um, and I thought that sounds really cool. I went back and, and Googled it, found the information, and I started making a mat on my own. Um, I learned at that time that it takes six to 900 plastic bags to make one of these homeless sleeping mats. Um, I'm very social justice oriented and, and um, have a kind of a passion for helping out wherever I can. And this fit two birds with one stone. To be able to help homeless people be just a little bit more comfortable. And um, it got, hundreds of bags out of the landfill was just awesome. I try not to use plastic bags at the grocery store, but you forget and you end up with plastic bags no matter what. So this was a, a great option. Um, so I started making them and then I thought this is really fun, I enjoy this. So I brought it to the, my church, St. Paul's Catholic Church, and we've been going for three years now. We've, made, we've donated over 130 mats to this point at the Chris Becker Dining Hall here in Sunny Slope. Um, and I thought if, if we at St. Paul's enjoyed this so much and it's helping so many people in the Sunny Slope area, there's a lot of homeless people all over the state. So we've had people from all over the valley come and learn the project. And so now it's all over the valley and you'll see people, homeless people with the mats. Um, walking down the street, a friend of mine said, ah, oh, there's the Bonnie Vivet started mats. So this is awesome. All of these plastic bags are out of the landfills, which is wonderful. And um, at least 130 people in, Saint, in the Sunny Slope area are a little bit more comfortable. Somebody um, saw this from one of the parishioners and, and contacted um, the city. And the city said, oh, we have some senior centers that are interested in this. It's great will go and teach. So we're teaching them how to do this here. Hopefully they take it on as a main project and they start making mats and um, either they have their own connection with the, the Chris Becker Dining Hall, which is right down the street here, or I can come pick them up and go deliver them. In the bags, we crochet a, a little pill of pouch that we figure that they can put clothes in for a pillow to sleep on. But in that pouch, we put a little bag of toiletries. So you know how you go on vacation and you get all those little toiletries? People donate those and we fill those little bags up. And then they'll get a letter from us with the person explaining how many bags there are um, to make the mat, how much time it takes, about 15 hours to crochet the mat. and. Um, and the person who made the mat signs it. So um, just kind of like a, a connection between the person who did the work for the people and then the people who are receiving the mat. So the more people, places that we can get doing this project, the more homeless people who are more comfortable and the more plastic bags we keep out of the landfills. And then the other part about when we do this mat project, when we cut the plastic, you don't use the whole plastic bag, you don't use the handles and the seam end. So we collect all of that and then we put that in the, in the bins at the grocery stores that recycle the plastic. So we don't want any of this plastic going into the landfills. And do you have any long-term goals for this or how long do you think you're going to keep on with this project? Well, my only goal is to get it out to as many places as we can and as many people help and as much plastic out of the landfills. So, um, you know, I, I don't have any like huge aspirations. It's just as many times as we can get this information out and more people be interested in it, the better. And if people are interested in getting involved, how can they do that? Um, well, we meet at St. Paul's Catholic Church. So if you're near St. Paul's, that's um, North Central Phoenix, um, the second Saturday of every month from one to three. Um, on St. Paul's website, if you go under the ministries page, then there's a link to the Homeless Sleeping Mat Project. It's got my name, my phone number, um, a tutorial, a video that the Lutheran Church had put online how to cut the plastic and the information on the dimensions of how to make the mat. Um, so that's where you can find out that information.